Hey there, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Thanks for spending Thanksgiving with us on TCM. We hope you enjoyed the day. How about those Lions? Or more likely, man, the Lions really took it on the chin. I don't actually know. We're taping this in September. The only thing I know for sure about today's Packers-Lions game is that I lost money on it. Up next, another family comedy. This one from Universal's hugely successful Ma and Pa Kettle franchise. From 1951, it's Ma and Pa Kettle back on the farm. After the box office bonanza of the first two films, Ma and Pa Kettle in 1949 and Ma and Pa Kettle Go to Town in 1950, Universal decided to release a Kettle movie every year. This is the third installment in the series, with Marjorie Maine and Percy Kilbride back again as the lovably cantankerous rural couple. In Ma and Pa Kettle Back on the Farm, Ma and Pa eagerly await their first grandchild by way of their oldest son, Tom, and his wife, Kim. But the Kettles are not as eager to welcome Kim's well-off parents, the Parkers, to their home. Sure enough, Ma Kettle and Mrs. Parker are at odds right from the outset, mostly concerning the finer points of housekeeping and hygiene, not strong suits for Ma Kettle. Meanwhile, Pa Kettle and Mr. Parker are preoccupied with searching for uranium deposits around the Kettle's old farmhouse. Will Tom and Kim manage to maneuver their parents' landmines and keep their own marriage intact and their new baby out of the hands of the Department of Child Services? Yes, of course they will. As in the first two films, Tom and Kim are played by Richard Long and Meg Randall, but this would be their last time appearing in the franchise. Long went on to work in television on shows like The Big Valley and Nanny and the Professor, while Meg Randall made a few more movies and did some TV before retiring in the early 1960s. From director Edward Sedgwick in 1951, enjoy Ma and Pa Kettle back on the farm. As with its predecessors, Ma and Pa Kettle back on the farm was a big hit for Universal. The Kettle movies helped keep the financially challenged studio afloat. Many attributed the success of the budding franchise to Marjorie Maine. It was actually on loan from MGM. Maine was committed to the character of Ma from the beginning, even designing her own wardrobe, coming up with makeup and hair choices. She did all that in spite of being treated unfairly by both Universal and MGM. The studios refused to compensate her with a share of the profits or a bonus. But Maine didn't believe the lack of respect was worth a fight. She continued to collect her standard weekly salary and did what was most important to her, making people laugh character became her trademark. She starred in all nine Ma and Pa Kettle comedies, ending with the Kettles on Old MacDonald's Farm in 1957. Coming up, another family picture that was part of a popular series with Louis Stone as the father and Mickey Rooney as the wild son in a comedy from MGM in 1942. The Courtship of Andy Hardy is next on TCM. Next on TCM, The Courtship of Andy Hardy then Little Women, and later, their big moment. We're ready for our close-up on TCM Tonight. 